You watching Moguls in the Making, episode 32 with God Plays. Tap in, man. We just dropped a lot of free game on real estate, clothing brands, and a lot of other good stuff. Tap in. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. Another episode, Moguls in the Making, episode 32, man. We in here. We uh, Magic Johnson with it now. Nah, we T. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what Matt Johnson on. He on some weird shit. His son on some weird shit. Listen, yeah. <laughs> we tee today. He got five chips, though. And I'm 32. This yeah. year 32. Yeah. Right, Episode right. 32. Okay. Fucks with that. Number 32. So you the guest today? Yeah. Hey, I might have to. Hey, hey, we might have to bring me on. We're going to interview you. <laughs> hey, man. But now nah, we appreciate y'all for coming out, man. Uh, I'm your most. Handsome, most gracious, most most lit. Gotta let him get it out. Thirty-two year old, you know. Tyrone Johnson, aka Geechee, aka T, aka Geechee Sosa, aka yeah, you know yeah, what the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your boy. <laughs> Got your back, old oh, man. And we oh, hold on real quick, hold on real quick. Hey y'all, hey he said catch a bag, oh now. Hey, he, he actually calling himself catch a bag, oh now. Cause look, we was at the uh, we was at the city league, and this girl came up and said catch a bag, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now he hey now he going by catch a bag oh so yeah, okay okay that, though, I, see what's, I see what's going people down always coming that, that don't hey, must like, be don't nice like boy you, you must be you nice don't, you don't like man. going by the ig man it's cool it's just too long that ain't my name like everybody that know me call me oh you know what i'm saying but it's all good though you know what i mean i didn't say that on a couple episodes see don't try to do that man we gonna go back hey we, we hey. can go back y'all let yeah. me know man get Shout out my dog i just said it they count on me to be right too, man. I said it, dog. They count on me to be right. We, got to we go can back. put something on the table yeah. right now, player. We gonna have to. We gonna have to. All right, man. Shoot, what we got, anyway, man? What's going on with man, the business, T? Man, um, you know, right now with the business, man, we, I think we talked about this on a lot last podcast, but we ended yeah. up actually doing that 100k in like five weeks. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that was a good thing for us. Uh, got off to a good start with our systems and stuff that we just revamped pretty much um we got our dispo manager he fully rocking we got the acquisition manager we fully rocking we got a new lead manager um that's really she gonna, she's cool yeah she's gonna be a rock star you know what yeah. i'm saying so a lot of our days we kind of backed up off of the phones and stuff like that and we we kind of doing a lot of training and and really a lot of admin shit right now um yeah. but as far as everything else you know the 10 unit we still in the midst of that you know we gonna we gonna really have to document that yeah man the city been like, fucking with us though <laughs> I mean, y'all gonna learn so much just through us you know you got to go through t going through a, a development class right now for yes, us sir. yes sir shout out to uh, t yeah man you know this is t's it ain't my episode though man <laughs> but yeah that that's what we got going on right now man and we got two deals on the table right now uh we're gonna try to do a lot more uh jv opportunities and stuff like that yeah like, um so if y'all definitely got any deals any real estate deals off market um definitely reach out to us you know we got a lot of folks that's looking to buy properties here in indianapolis so connect yeah. with us um the link is in both of our bios um we, we can send you a form just reach out to us you know get in touch with us if you got a property because shit we're gonna get the job done yeah that's what we do but we um, definitely get the job done i like that and speaking of you know what i'm saying getting the job done <laughs> you know, T, you got, you got, you got to, you got to introduce, man. You know, hey, we, who, who we, who we got today? Hey, we got my dog on here. You know what I'm saying today? Speaking man. of getting something, Spe speaking of getting something, you know what I'm saying. I know y'all see the gear all over the table. <laughs> hey, man, Mister, Mister, Mr. Hey, for one, North Central, <laughs> North, Central North Central in the building, <laughs> got plays in the building. Yeah. What's got my going dog. on? What's going on? Got my guy Antonio in the building, man. Tone, whatever you want to call him. Got plays, whatever the fuck you want to call him. He whatever in the building today, man. What's happening with you, got bro? Got plays, whatever. Hey. Hey. Man, crazy, bro. <laughs> right on, right crazy, on. What's man. going on with y'all? Man, not much. We appreciate you for, for hopping on. I know we've been trying to get together for a minute, pause. Yeah, it's all good. But shit. You know what I'm saying? We How you say got pause to, on that? Because we're trying to, <laughs> trying we're trying to, to get, get together, together for a minute. minute, bro. I'm not trying to get been, together. He's been with watching Cam and Mace. That's why I said I've been watching too much, too much of it, though. Too much, bro. It's cool, bro. Hey, he when you say I've been, we've been trying to get together for a minute, there's no reason to pause that, bro. All right, man. I'm telling you, man. It's I'm cool. just saying. It's cool. It might sound cool to you. You know, you might be, I don't know. It might be something that's cool to you. I don't know. It's it the, ain't cool to me. The, the, the New York players, they're going to look like, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. The thing is, though, <laughs> ain't place, he ain't from New York. Yeah. 
Shit is Paul. He ain't Paul. from New York, man. <laughs> Paul's is Paul. Stop man. it, bro. You 12 hours away, Brody. Hey, man, Paul. You in the Paul. Mid- Midwest, my he, name. He been hey. watching a lot of podcasts. Boys here say, say he how you what? Button. You see, he did the Joe Button. He been watching a lot shout of podcasts. Shout out, Joe. Hey, man, look. We say <laughs> how you Gilly what now. here. We say how you what. I don't. I never have said. I'm saying that's a not thing. You, you ain't nah, from New York. Hold up, real quick. Do the city. We, do the city right, man. I, I gotta tell this nigga this. You gonna again. put the city on? I'm just saying. I gotta say tell something from the city then. Nah, see, again. stop trying to take stuff from everywhere so else. He just said we gonna we gonna be we gonna be look we gonna be out on look. He don't say how you look. Episode forty. He gonna be like, man, what's good, Shouty? What's happening, Shouty? All right, you gonna be he gonna go everywhere around. He gonna go out to Cali, talking slow and shit. Come to the city. Say something that the city say. Fuck how you what? Say something that the city say then. You done? Oh, see. So can I talk now? Hot right, dog. Can I talk now? I'm just saying. All right. Dude, don't got me Nigga, I don't up say. He, this, this is his nigga thing. got me right? turned up. Say something he, from the he, city. He dog. want me to do what everybody else do. I tell I this nigga time want, and time again. You're doing what everybody else do. I'm not a nigga that do what everybody else do. If you want me to want do some to do what everybody else shit, do. that's cool. I'm going to do my Indianapolis shit. That's not Indianapolis. I don't say how you what. I don't say uh, what well, do D- something from Indianapolis. What do you want start saying? Hey, listen, y'all. All I'm saying I can never finish. Do something from Indianapolis. I can never finish. Not New York. I can never finish. Not Cali. Everything. I do from Indianapolis, nigga. I'm what? Naptown Original. But you say Shout out Naptown Originals and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, nigga. I, everything I do is Indianapolis. Whether I say something, put it in your whatever. lingo, then. Put it in your lingo, nigga. Then, man. Anyways, <laughs> just the, the point of the matter is we man, can't even get the podcast started. Don't, don't keep started. on saying everybody else, man. Don't keep on saying what everybody else do. I don't. But that's give what a fuck you're what doing. Everybody else do, man. You're doing what everybody else I does. Do whatever I do, whatever catches me, catches me. Well, you getting caught by a lot of everything that everybody else doing. Anyway, catch the city up. Do that. that. Anyway, that's what we do. that's what we here to do today. We got God plays in this bitch. What's going on? Hey man, the chain looking nice, man. I right see on. you over there. Right you know what I'm saying? I'm light today, man. Just a nice yeah. little, nice little representation of the brand, man. Uh, for sure, for sure. But man, right. we, we like to start off, man. Man, tell us where. Tell us what you got going right now. Uh, like what's slapping right, right now? now? Uh. Right now, I'm in the process of trying to see if I'm going to do more events, if I'm going to get uh, like a brick and mortar store, if I'm going to just turn my own line up. Like, I'm uh, I'm in the revamping process right now. Like, I'm still going, but I'm trying to see what the next level is for me right now. I've been going and going and going. It's been a nice year, but really trying to get ready for next year, see what I'm going to do next big, for real. For sure. What all have you done this year, though, so far, like, before you got into this space, like, right before that, like? Before, but, you know, uh, like talk your shit. Where before where your, this, before you know I mean? before I just started chilling out this year, I started doing a lot of events. I started out going to other people's events, doing a lot of pop up shops, just paying my vendor fee and going. Mm-hmm. And then I started noticing just just catching little game and catching different little stuff. And I started throwing my own events and inviting my own homies and inviting my own people that I know and start throwing my own events, bringing my own vibe and started turning up from there. The first one was good, second was good, and we ended up on the fourth one. And, now I'm trying to see if we're gonna keep doing it, but that's really what that's that's what turned the year for real for me to events yeah. and just bringing everybody out, bringing everybody together, showing people I want everybody here with me. A lot of people just do it for themselves and do it for themselves. My whole thing was everything I'm doing, I'm gonna have at least one of my guys or somebody else bringing along some kind of collaboration. You know, what I'm right? Saying? And I noticed that about you, bro. I was just, right. That's what I was about to actually say to you because one thing, because I don't see this out of a lot of people in the city, yeah. but I do see it out of you when it comes, because I feel like right now, like speaking of New York shit and shit like that, like I kind of feel like it got kind of like a dip set feel to the clothing brand of like the clothing brands around Indianapolis. Yeah, like, yeah. like everybody kind of got, you know what I'm saying? Some, some lick going. It's mm-hmm. a lot, not everybody, but it's a good five or six of y'all. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. damn, they shit hard. This yeah, shit hard. This shit hard. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You always show love. Like you always shout out other people's shit too. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like I don't see everybody doing that, but I do see you reaching out. Hey, what's up, man? Shit, when yeah. we gonna when we gonna uh, jump yeah. on this together? Let's yep. throw something yep. together. Yep. Fuck uh, it. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like that's. I think that's how that's how you gonna grow. You know what I mean? And that's just my thing. Even if it yeah. don't help me grow, that's just my thing. Just helping other people, fucking with other people. Like I don't know. Especially if it's one of my guys, I'm gonna definitely show you how to do it. You know what I mean? Here go the plug to do it. Here go the manufacturer. Here go what you do. Right. Come with me, set up. You know, do it like that. If I just send me the money. I I order it for you and do it like you know, just right. doing stuff like that. And when it comes to showing love to other people, like that's how I started my. You know, you're not gonna be the only person. 
You know what I mean? Exactly. So to think you're the only person existing is crazy. So I acknowledge other people. If I think you got some fire shit going on, it's fire. Whether I know you or not, it's right. fire. I'm a bot. Like, this sweat, this one of my homies sweats who's right now. Like, I ain't, right. I, I could have came on here with everything <laughs> mine, but you know, yeah, yeah. show my homie some love a little bit. Like, Most definitely. Do, I Who can shit do that, is that with everybody. Hustle, yeah, uh, Jamel, that's my boy, Jamel. Josh, Jamel. little brother. Uh, Shout out. Check him out on the gram. I think it's Hushler's Ambition 34 or something like that. That's what's up. Shout him out. Somewhere man. on my That's page. Right. Somewhere you can, find him. you can find him. Nah, I'll rock like with that. that. So, t so what if me and T wanted to start a clothing brand? Like, what would you tell us to do? Like, from the game that you got mm. now. You uh, know what I'm saying? From the jump. It's two different, it's two different ways you can go about it because you can go. It's a difference between having a clothing brand and having merchandise for your brand. So, y'all mm. already halfway there with the following y'all got y'all can have merchandise for muggles in the making whether it be hats shirts socks pins notepads whatever you know what i mean i, right. I can i can keep going but if y'all want me to keep the game for y'all whatever but it's plenty of stuff y'all can do for just y'all brand but if you yeah. want to start a clothing brand then you come up with your name come up with your logo come up with your message and see who you're going to target to and go from there exactly exactly now starting out because i know that now i'm gonna dig even deeper than that Say today we want to start getting uh, uh, jackets. You know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. say we want to do like go with them boys. Let's go yeah. with varsity jackets yeah. for for moguls in the making. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, but we want that to be like it's it's technically merchandise, but it's like the, the clothing brand starting for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like we're like I'm talking about not okay, like like a movement. With I'm talking it. about if you was like shit, I'm about to put y'all on. I want y'all to be within 30 days. Y'all gonna y'all gonna have y'all shit out there. Not 30 days, but like you know, nah, what I'm know saying what you mean. as uh, soon as possible. Y'all gonna have y'all shit like, out there. Like Alibaba, like, yeah. Alibaba. If you got the graphic designer, and they can, uh, you know, get you the uh, mock up for you, send it to. Uh, I got a couple vendors on Alibaba that can get you right, and they gonna get you a sample. Or if you want to skip the sample, get a bulk order. Do that, but I would advise getting, you know, just going with a sample, getting one or two, checking the size out, see if you right. like the stitch, and tell them change this, change that, and. Boom, uh, let them know what to change up in two weeks. They'll have your bulk order out to you. What's something like that cost? Because let me, let me, let me ask you why we, let me tell you why we're asking all this too, just so you understand. Like, <clears throat> it's a lot of different entrepreneurs that watch this show. They like yeah. to hear, yeah, like cost and yeah. how much you made and mm -hmm. like give us that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, like, like how wise. much you think that'll cost to like to, for, for the, to get the introduction started? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm, to get for, for, for jackets. That might cost you, just for samples, it might cost you a couple hundred just getting the samples from, you know, just right. getting uh, ordering it overseas, paying the shipping price. But when it comes down to getting the bulk order of the jackets, you'll probably pay somewhere, anywhere from like 20 to $50 for a, like a piece for the bulk order. And, you gotcha. know, you sell those for 100 150 well, you know, put right. whatever your price point you want to put on. I, right. Somebody told me you sell something three times the price point, so if you was to pay $50 for it, yeah. selling it for 150 is not crazy, you know what I mean? Right, so right. That's what okay. something like. That's dope, because you went and putting the groundwork in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta, cause you got to pay for shipping. You got to pay, like, if I'm, I got to pay for my website. Right. Once I once I pay for the uh, the shipping to get the order out, I got to pay to ship it to you if you're ordering it online. Then if I'm at a pop-up shop, I got to pay to be here. Mm -hmm. And I spend good money on all my products. I got $100, um, $100 worth of uh, tablecloths. I got backdrops. I got my own tables. I put, I put a lot of money into my stuff. So right. just this one product is not... You can't look at it like, oh damn, you charging that for that? I gotta right. make my money for it, the brand as a whole. Absolutely, for absolutely, sure. that make a hundred percent. That's all right. Getting started is is getting started is pretty easy. It's hard, but it's easy once you do it. You know, right. what I mean? a lot of people try to go too big and yeah. try to be like, now how can I get a store? You probably can't get a store tomorrow, but if right. you wanted ten shirts to see how you can move that, yeah. I bet you you could do that. So right. You could probably do that tomorrow. Go right. get it printed up or do it yourself. But getting a store tomorrow. It's gonna be kind of hard. Yeah, especially with not going through all of the, all the of proper the, yeah, the going proper stages. Proper it's almost like real estate, like shit. A lot of people when they get started in real estate, well, at least from our backgrounds, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they, they think they don't already have credit. They don't already have a bunch of cash. You know what I'm saying? Or they might have hustled up on a little cash, but they credit fucked up or yeah. whatever. So it's like send that girl name. You, you know, start exactly. Like so you yeah. start off a little smaller. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and get let's let's get my foot in the door first. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Let's that's, see if that's, I. That's if how I I, that's how I did get started. Just yeah. fifty shirts. Just trying to see what I can do. Just fifty shirts. I think it was a five hundred dollar order. That's how I got started. I spent 
five hundred forty five dollars, I think. You know what I mean? And he remembered. The, he I remembered just, the digits. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah, I think I spent like five hundred forty five dollars on fifty shirts, and I don't even think I sold every single shirt. But the way I was thinking was like, nah, I sold enough, and I did the math to where if I got fifty shirts and I was selling them for twenty five dollars, I'm supposed to have a thousand dollars to put back into this. Mm. So I put a thousand dollars back into some more shirts and. I did that again. If I got 100 shirts, then what am I supposed to have off of that? Even if I did make that, I was, in my mind, I was so determined to keep going. Like, nope, I'm going to double up my my product. I wasn't worried about the profit. I'm like, I'm right. trying to double up my product by just. To get double, a lot. Yeah, to really just to double my investment. Get it out there. Yeah, get the just awareness out there. You can, yeah. like I said, a jacket might be 20 to $50 to get started, but a T-shirt can be 5 to 10 so, you know what I mean? It's easier to get started with some T-shirts. It, it's even cheaper ways than that to get started. A lot of people don't know hats is easier to do than shirts because with right. shirts, you got to come up with, if you got 50 shirts versus 50 hats, you got to come up with the different sizes. You might not have, y'all, y'all right. might want the shirts, but y'all size is sold out by the time I see you. So, shirts might not be as good versus a hat. Mm-hmm. If you like my brand, it don't matter what size it is here. Throw it on. You, well, a snapback right. would be, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. uh, unless you do fitted hats, but for just starting out, Hats would be better because everybody can wear a hat, every, right. every size. You know what I'm saying? So, absolutely, that's dope. That's yeah, dope. We we need that. Hell yeah, and that's we, a we part that we like. And, like and, and with the there. following y'all got, that's definitely like it'll be easy to just throw something in there. You know, exactly. like even with the events, if everybody come, you know, you get a, a t shirt or some kind of merchandise just to take and yeah. you remember and be like, oh, that's what we did on this one. Well, <laughs> halfway did the shit. The motherfucker got there late. Yeah. All this, that, and the other <laughs> yeah. with the shirts and yeah. shit. But we had these, boy. Yeah. Um, and they actually, they went quick. Like, we just tell people subscribe to the podcast. We ain't even yeah. charged. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Just and that, subscribe that's, to that's, the podcast. That's really what is, that's the best thing to do, too. You know, yeah. like, just getting started out, not trying to get the most profit. Like, when you're starting out, if you was to not just give them away, but the easier are that everybody yeah. have them, somebody going to look and just remember, it's about the message. It ain't really like, oh, I want to match their shirt up to right. wear with my drawer. It ain't really that. It's, oh, when I see this in my drawer, I'm going to remember, oh, I did go to their event. Right. Oh, damn, they put some game on me. Let me get back to that. Let me get right. back focused on what I was trying to do. Let me think about my goals. and You know what I mean? So a lot of times it's the message with your stuff that mm. really get out there, and that's what I be trying to push. Like when you – that's why I haven't really went so hard online and kept it to where a lot of people that got my clothing and stuff, you if you see them with it, they probably got it from me. They probably right. know me. So I'm trying to pass along the message of like, they're probably good peoples, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, or you might could tap into them for, you know, they just good peoples, and I like to represent that message. So same thing with y'all. It's like if you got the you got that mogul's hat, you might need to holler at him about some real estate. Right. It's just a conversation starter in the airport or McDonald's Absolutely. or wherever you at, like, hey. What you got going on? If you got, yeah. I know you know them. Yeah. So if you got that on, what, let's talk. And they might put that hundred uh, hundred thousand dollar put together. You was just talking. <laughs> nah, about, for real. Just nah, off of a real. hat. Yeah, hundred percent networking. Because exactly, and 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 actually, you just spoke to like a video that we just posted about that shit. Is like referrals and getting shit like that. Cause like, yeah. like one of those deals was like a, a big deal. You know, over twenty k, and that was a referral. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? On somebody that I didn't been cool with since I was. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. in high school. Mm-hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, just getting the word out there. Like, I was in Cali wearing, uh, when I was living out there, I was wearing uh, AG shit. Yeah. The, the uh, Struggle, uh, struggle Maybe. Struggle Maybe. Yep. Yeah. And this random white lady. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just was like, where did you get that from? Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is my guy's, uh, you know, clothing brand or whatever. She was like, I need the information. I'm talking about like. Yeah. I'm looking at her like yeah, I get that. You know what with that? Yeah, you, you know what struggle even me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but to them, they just be like some people just like it's just hard. Because, she was like the boot. It's yeah. just with the toe kick. That yeah. is just. Yeah. I'm like cool. Boom, sent it to her, mm-hmm. and she bought some shit. Like yeah. for real. Like I told him, I hit him. Like bro, this lady just stopped me like at the pumpkin patch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm in there. With, I'm in there with my kids at the pumpkin patch. She like that's hard. You'll be surprised though who yeah. do resonate with the brand or who did. You yeah, know, somebody she might have seen it that might have really touched her. Like I remember yeah. when I did struggle. She and might she not probably know went through the, a struggle. You know, through yeah. the whole thing of the. You know, she might not be the same struggle we do, but she, somewhere she probably was like lost a family member or something. Absolutely. She like, oh, I, I like that. That was exactly. her struggle. So she like, because I get people. I might be in the airport and I hear them. I might just see a dude walking by. They won't even say nothing to me. But I hear them talking to each other, and they say, oh, "I got plays. That's hard." 
And all they, my they, life, and, they, and I'll be like, Yo, so I was I about to go to that. The job yeah. done. That's oh, branding. Yeah. That's so much, job. bro. That's it's branding, branding right there. bro. It's yep. branding because I like that guy plays name a hundred percent. Like you can put it's it's just not closed. You can put that on so yeah. much shit, yeah. bro. You and know that, what I'm saying? Like that's that shit hard. And, and that's why I said I didn't really want to. Uh, you can go clothing brand, or you can just go. You know what I mean? Merchandise for your yeah. brand, and that's what I'm right now. I'm I'm trying to I'm branding as a whole, but I do got the clothes that's bumping right now, so I got to keep that intact. But at the same time. I am branding as a whole, so it is other things I want to step out and do up under my brand and use my brand to do. Right, most like definitely. what though? Uh, what you want to do? You want to like, like, like? What's your vision? Yeah. I got man. It's a lot of stuff I want to do. Like, I music, just like music. Like to, uh, music. Okay. I want to do like a different event. Like one of my first ideas when I was thinking about it was like, if you and a group of if if, if you and some some dudes some young dudes in the streets if you and your guys wanted to throw a concert and bring Yo Gotti or somebody's gonna say Yo Gotti right y'all name is JJ and Ray and and whatever if they be like JJ and Ray is bringing Gotti to the club it's like yeah whatever right and JJ and Ray come up with uh call they self finish line entertainment or something and they say finish line entertainment presents yo Gotti tonight mm. da, da. it just sounds better so you know like that's just a God plays is gonna be God presented. plays is where you know that Ooh, sounds better than just my hard. and just it's, I don't know it just <laughs> sounds better to represent myself when uh, God plays is coming versus somebody say my name, name who I just right. like it better but yeah my guy God plays is gonna come he got the clothes mm. yeah let him come but they say your personal name is who Right. Where are you knowing from? Whose cousin is right. he? What school he went to? And then you said that It's all about my yeah. Look, Actually, talk about that's that crazy because that's what that's Who what happened with us. I bypassed that. Yeah, because <laughs> he he don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Know you like that? Yeah. I do. Obviously, we went to high school. I'm like, yeah, my dog Tone, he gonna come on or whatever. He like yeah. Tone. I'm like, got plays with the. He like, oh, okay, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's exactly like, what happened. Like literally, so, like yeah, that's, that's exactly that's, that's what exactly happened, what bro. That's sure. I'm like, oh yeah, all right for sure. Take us back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, um. Take us back to how this all got started. But what intrigued you? Was it something when, when you was younger? Right. Did uh, you have a play? You caught a play and then right. said, man, I got plays uh, now. Really, oh. it was it was it was uh man, after I after high school I went to college and I started getting in trouble, man. I started catching too many plays and started catching cases and getting in trouble and it was like I had to I was just finding myself for you real. Did. So I was I really just trying to find that. I was just trying to find what yeah. I was trying to do for real, just finding myself and I I wasn't troublesome for real, but I was I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like So what I, case did you catch though? Without being on no ain't ain't no no drugs. Too I too police drugs, shit. But drugs. I'm saying just in general, you know what I mean? Drugs. I got caught up, you know, caught up with some stuff. Was I, it something that you was like, damn man, I could have avoided that? Yeah, or it, it, was, was, it was. It was. It was. It was. I could have avoided it by just slowing down. Yeah, I, I kept, yeah, I kept sure. getting in trouble and I was thirsty. I was just thirsty. I'm like, I need some money. I'm thirsty. I was just thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> once you, I swear, once you, once you sit down and you go broke, when you just sitting there broke, you be like, I can be broke for a minute. But when you on the streets, you looking at everything, you like, yeah, you like, nah, I need so some right. money I doing today. That. Like, I yeah. need some money today. Right. So when I sat down, I kept getting in trouble. I'm like, wait, hold on. I gotta slow down. You know, right. I was forced to slow down. And then I'm like, wait, hold on. If I can sit down this long and just be in trouble doing nothing locked up, I can probably be a little more patient when I get out. So I was I'll just, about to say that. I was just being more time. patient. Yeah, I was just started being more patient. How much time did you end up doing? I only had to do like a year. I did like a year. Shit, nigga said okay. only a year. Bro, I did two days, nigga. No, nah, I mean, I you like, know, some people be like, oh, <laughs> it, 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 it get worse. It get worse. It definitely get worse, but I'm just saying, even a year, bro, I'm damn not cool. I had to do like a year. I had to do like a year. Damn. He was in the county. Uh, I had to I had to go do some other uh, prison time. It was, oh, that, for real? It was crazy. Where was, was you okay. it? Was weird. No, it was weird. I went to uh, Newcastle Level One. It was real weird. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, it was, and I bet like, it was a whole bunch of just random ass shit up there. It was like it was N- Newcastle. It was, it was funny for me <laughs> because uh, people people like it's some troublesome people out here. You know what I mean? Like you so, know everybody make mistakes, but some some niggas hey I'm. They thugging. They, yeah, really they don't get no. They fuck. don't give a fuck. Yeah, it is what it is. What dude say on that? Jiz? He said. He said that's cool. Meet me in about 10, 15 years. Yeah. I'm gonna be the same, same motherfucker yeah, I was yeah, when I came up. in this bitch. The, <laughs> even the counselors, they used to say little stuff to me like, "You're not supposed to be here." And at first, he used to make me mad. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, what you mean? But then it, it started hitting me like, "Wait, hold on, you really not?" You know what I mean? Yeah. You got a little bit of knowledge, you kind of just tripped up and. So I was just like, damn, what I'm going to do? You know what I mean? So I started thinking like music and different little stuff. And when I was thinking about the music, I'm like, damn, wait, hold on. 
you got to do something different. You got to brand yourself. And I'm starting looking up the different rappers that's independent and the way they was branding they self. Yeah. Just clothes and stuff. And I kind of fell in love with that. I ain't really did no music in a minute. I'm, I like the brand over right. the music. I still want to get back into it in different ways. But when you know the business and you know the industry, it's like you don't just go to the studio and just sit in there and do drugs and rap with your homeboys. It's more to the music right. industry. You ain't got no paper, no budget or nothing going on. It's yeah. going to be hard for you to do something. You yeah. just sitting up rapping in the studio. Yeah, that's real. That's what's up. That's what's Jeez. up. So you, so while you was locked up, basically you came up with the idea, kinda a little basically. How like, come, or was it your idea or somebody you just kept nah, saying? It was my this? idea. It how did I, how, how it come about though? The pl- the the name plays was kind of just like that was just what we were saying when we sure. was doing stuff. Whether yeah. we was whether we was busting a play, whether we was going to the parties, it kind of just started being a lingo. Yeah, it was right. it was a thing that mean like, everything. I got to play to make. Yeah, I got to like, play like, to make. Like 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 uh. Like uh, Meek album when it was like expensive pain. He was explaining. Yeah, they yeah. was like, "That's everything. That's like, everything. Yeah, for that's sure. you know for what sure. I'm saying, nigga. Fuck your bitch. You ain't home. That's I gotta <laughs> stay in the studio and I want to spend time. Like, like expensive yeah. pain is yeah. is everything. Like it's a lot of got plays. Is it? Like we just ran with the I, I I ran with the lingo more to where like I named when I like I said I was doing the music. I named it my mixtape and I just, I don't know, I just ran with it. Like the plays, the plays, the plays. Like, I don't know, I just ran with it. it started, yeah, it stuck. It started being something that I could brand and I started looking up different ways to brand. I'm like, no, nah, I got to take this serious, I gotta, you know? Yeah. I just kept going from there and really still growing, like still learning day by day. I wake up and learn something new every day. Just getting on YouTube, just scrolling, just, I learn something yeah. new every day. Try to, I don't know, I learn something new. Like this space right here, the podcast space, I'm trying to see how I can get up into that space yeah. with giving game on the clothing and stuff like that. But at the same time, keeping it, you know, just, you know, chopping game with what I want to do. Yeah. But, you know, it take different mics and different setups. And I'm just researching, trying to see what the next step. That's why when I say it's my next step, I'm like, damn, do I need a studio space? Do I need a store? Do I want, because it's right. a lot that I want to do. But I'm like, I don't want to rush into everything, but yeah. I do want to check those things off my list and, and do it. I want to get down and put the work in. Man, you can tell, was, bro. He's going to be hella successful. I, I was bro. about to say that. I was about to say, bro. He's going to be hella successful. <laughs> You're going to be successful because he you're going to be hella successful. You weighing out your options and shit. Yeah. If I had any type of advice from my side of it, my advice would be, bro, is to is to look at what's paying you now and then look at what's going to pay you in the future. Yeah. Like, and like the. You might have three or four different things that you're looking at, bro, but yeah. that shiny object syndrome can kill you. Yeah. Like, it'll kill sure. your whole business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, like, we did that shit, like, bro, we started, we like, our bread and butter of our business, like, yeah. what we just, that just made us that 100K in five weeks, yeah. we shut that shit off for, like, two years. For what? Because we was doing too many different things. All we want to do is creative. Oh, we want to do fucking uh, 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 lease options. Oh, we want to do... Yeah. Rent, we buying all these rentals. Oh, we doing flips at the same time. Yeah. Like, don't go with the shiny object syndrome. Look at what's paying you now. Keep that afloat. Yeah. Which is this. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? The next thing is like, okay, what's that one thing that like, I know that like once I really put some, like take some bread from this and I'm able to put it here, yeah. that it's going to at least get to rolling. Like, I know that I can do this. Yeah. That next thing, choose that. Focus on that for a good year. Yeah. Like yeah. till till it blow until that one's moving just as smoothly as this. Yeah. Then move on to the next thing. Yeah. People fuck they'll up, start, bro, when they start yeah. trying to go like this. Yeah. I swear to God, bro. And you that's what's what that's what's we keeping me from it, the I, it's a good and a bad thing. That's what's keeping me from, you know, starting that next thing. Cause I know I don't want to get too deep into it, but at yeah. the same time I know I wanna, you know, go to the next level. It's not a like a fear, but it's like a I'm just I'm an all in sure type a, of person. Yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. want to, you know what I mean? I'm all in. So it's like, man, exactly. I don't want to get you want to calculate it right. Yeah. And my mine too, just to, you know, what I mean, go with T said is like, you know, even through our experience, it's like I like shit that I can focus on it and it and it bring me opportunities in a lot of different ways. Right. You feel me? Like for us, the podcast, right? Yeah. We sitting on here chopping it up. One, we got a cool thing where we can go back and forth and shit. People like it. Yeah. But one, I'm Getting a he's relationship a with you now, people, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck he said, but he said some bullshit. <laughs> I can I can develop a relationship with you, right? Everybody who's been on the podcast, I'm able to get a chance to dive deeper than just on a normal tip. You know yeah. what I mean? We really talking about your life, how you got here, yeah. all that type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he talking about some Paul shit, man. Come yeah. on, because <laughs> I said dive deeper, bro. That yeah. could be a diving board. That can be no. Some you said shit. dive deeper than just the tip. Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some, yeah, yeah, that's some Paul shit. That's some Paul shit. Hey, bro. I ain't from New York, but that's some Paul shit. 
<laughs> God damn, I agree to you. That's some no, hey, I, I know, you know. That's I know what you shit. mean, though, because just like I said, just right, I'm a, off that shit. Though. As a as a person, I I know a lot of people from school and a lot of people from over here, but as a brand, when I became got plays and just start moving around, it's I I definitely have met a lot of different people and a lot of different connects, and it's just. Uh, I don't yeah. know. It's just easier to move for me, and just I like it better like that. It just it feel good when I go out and people know me for my products. And I was just at the gas station on the way here, and the dude he seen my hat and he double take, he double take. He like, wait, hold on. You know, uh, he, he said a dude name. He like, you know him. I'm like, uh, who? He like, he just be having your clothes on, man. I'm trying to see how I can tap in with you. Like, <laughs> right. Follow me on the gram. You and right. I get that a lot to where they like, oh, are you? You so and so you and yeah. I'm like I don't know it just make me feel good like that versus you know like, you could be known for a lot of different stuff and sometimes right. it's not good right. you know, people, right. a lot of people could point you out for some bad stuff so it just feel good now that I'm like I said I got Absolutely. over that trouble some stage to where it, yeah and people rocking with what yeah, you really put out with what I'm doing yeah, it was a point product yeah, yeah 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 I like that and so so who you who you kind of model out there like who's some people that you like damn man they they nailed it they did it right like I'm kind of right. I'm doing my own thing, but I'm kind of following their footsteps, though. Even if, even if, you know I mean, saying? and you might do this anyway, but even if it's somebody from the city, like, uh, like don't I'm be a, talking I'm about say, everything everywhere I'm else, say, man. Talk about somebody say, from the city, man. I'm say, I, I will say, I will say <laughs> Maxi. I will say <laughs> Maxi. I'm going to say Maxi for okay. sure, because I remember when he was, I remember his early stages when he was just getting up one box of shirts and he was in the trunk, like yeah, I just too. riding around, pulling up to the gas station, you know. Yeah. And now he got a store on Mass Ave doing right. shows with the mayor and stuff Flying like that. So that's one real close to where I'm like, I, I see Big Bro doing it. I yeah. see he really, you know what I mean, built his brand up. Another yeah. person, uh, Desto Dub, he got the uh, cough syrup brand, awful lot oh, of cough yeah. syrup. Yeah, like, that shit hard. Yeah, another person, during the pandemic, we used to go to Cali all the time. He had a van, he had a rap van. He was just in a parking lot downtown. Man, now fast forward, that nigga got made back. He got two, three store. And it's not about the material yeah, stuff, but it's but just you can saying the growth. I just growth, know yeah. that he succeeded now yeah, with growth you, on you it. know his growth over two, three years. He just put that work in and putting that brand out there. And this is what I like you said, this is my bread and butter. This is what I'm doing. So you know, I do wake up just like, damn, this I gotta put my all into the brand because I wake yeah. up and see different people. Uh who else? It's a brand out of Atlanta. Uh, Tulaness, Tulon, Tulaness. That's how you say it. I, I like their brand. Okay. Uh, how you feel about Spurgo? Who? Spurgo. Spurgo. You know about them? Dude Spurgo. out in uh, he from Philly, ain't he? Spurgo. Which one? You Spurgo. The, the, the kid, the kid that was on uh. You're talking about the one that got all the little sweat fifteen, suits? little fifteen year old kid. I probably ain't hip. Nah, he. Man, what? Boys was, was boys, boys was on this shit, but I I, I wasn't. But Dirk was, man, was just winning what uh, yeah, this week or I something. I know that. I don't think it's called Spur Go though, is it? Yeah, it's called Spur Go. Yeah, his oh, Spur Go. I'm about to show. I'm about to show you. I'm I like Milano. Too. Yeah, I like Milano too. Yeah, I like yeah. uh. I like, right here. I like a stone the Stone Island brand. That's a, a high fashion brand that I like just because they don't have a lot of different like they logo is what make you buy it. They might have a plain shirt with just the logo on mm. it. He clowning. Now he is, but when he first got started, he was clowning. And boys was rocking this shit. This stuff go hard though. Yeah, it go hard. Yeah, I ain't, yeah. I ain't hip. I'm at the yet. <laughs> Stuff go hard, though. From the city, though, man. Like for me, and I and and I, I told him this. I was like, we are gonna have to have a whole lineup of podcasts on on brands from the city because yeah, it's a sure. lot out there now that motherfuckers really just don't. We understand. absolutely should do one just about <laughs> I brands. I love yeah. Maxi shit. I love uh 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 Theo shit. Yeah, Harless yeah, in the trap. trap. I love uh, Inari with yep. KJ. Yep. I got one. Um, on who else got one, man? Did I? I know I'm missing. Oh, I love Struggle Made Me, obviously. I got some yeah. of his gear and shit, too. But, like, I actually tap in. Like, I actually try to buy y'all shit, like, yeah. for sure. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, and don't be uh, roasting me either, man, because I, man, with the pants, it'd be hard for me, man. Yeah. Now it'd be like, like be, I got to try my shit on. That's the only thing that I don't like about, like, pulling. Like, But Theo, like, nigga, just pull up, pull then. Up just check, yeah, yeah right pull on. up. He, I, yeah. And I'm sorry, man. I still ain't pulled up or grabbed yeah. no Heartless, but I'm going I'm to pull it. But I do want to get all of them on the podcast at some point. Yeah. Max, we could do a panel. We can do, do a, a try panel. and chop yeah, it up. You know what I'm saying? Up, yeah. That'd be hard. I That'd like that type hard. of cover. Yeah, yeah, that would be super dope. We a lot of people be a, interested man, in your story, yo. We can even do a workshop. Yeah, a live boy. Help some people, you know what I mean? A live one. Y'all heard it first here. Y'all heard it first here. heard it first. heard it first here. I'm trying to. Because we'll be students of it. God plays. We students of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of crazy how you can be. Like even with y'all, like even like some of y'all, they y'all 
I don't know about you if you have uh, at all yet, but like even some of the dudes I know that's building their brand and shit like that, like they didn't reach out to me for real estate shit, and now yeah. it's dope that I can just shit turn around, turn reach around, back yeah, out for, for sure, merchandise for sure. shit. Like yeah. Yeah. we can just help each other out. Like that's how that's how all all the other races yeah. do it, bro. I think that's one and of they my fuck with each other. Too. That's you know one of my saying? favorite parts with the brand. Like it be. Man, some young dudes, they like 18, 19, 20. And when they be like, I want to do what you doing, like, that'd be crazy. And I'd be yeah. like, at first I used to down, you know, like downplay it. Like, I ain't doing nothing. But like, now I'm like, okay. you know, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I will show you how you can do it at right. a younger age. And you could be, you'd be bigger than better me. Than you me. know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, yeah, straight up. Like, you better money, doing this money shit. In it, you know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> You can't look at it like that, bro, because you got to think about it. It's better doing that shit than them niggas out here doing some stupid shit. Yeah. It's too many sure, little sure. niggas dying, bro. Uh, yeah. Period. Yeah, sure. Period. So like, and, around the whole motherfucking. And I just be wanting them to know it's possible. U.S. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. I'd be like, it's easy. If like, they got their mind. They in there pressing yeah. shirts and fucking online trying to figure. Yeah. That's better than them being out there clowning, bro. And it's going to point you in the, I don't know, so when you. Even when you fail, you succeed. So if your clothing brand don't work, you're going to find other Something stuff. Like, else man, I, I should have been doing too. the graphics the whole time. Right. I should have been printing them the your whole time. I don't skill. want a clothing brand. I yep. want to print the, you know yeah. what I mean? You but you only learn that from yeah, being in it. You learn that from getting in it, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah, so. yeah. That's a hundred. That's Hell definitely a yeah. hundred right there. That's some real <laughs> shit. On my life, man. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> man, what you got though? I know you brought some gear on, on here too, man. Talk about kind of like all of the stuff that you got. Like I know you got a variety of stuff now. I got a... Some man, sometimes I just be up one, two in the morning on the uh the Alibaba app, just looking at what they got to offer. And right. I just send them my logo, like put my logo on there, send me some, you know how to be right. stickers, socks, hats, like sweatsuits, uh bomber jackets, like stack pants, uh short outfits, a little bit of everything. And I started uh I started going like cut to uh cut to sew or cut cut and sew. Or I, f I can't remember exactly how to say it, but it's yeah. basically like moving along from just having the blanks to where I order a blank t-shirt and press my logo on it to where now I'm moving along to where they, they that's doing my it. actual, yeah, that's my, my whole thing. That's the, my, uh, measurements and everything on there. So they oh, it, okay. The whole, so like how it fit you yeah, and all of that. How it fit you. I can change up the whole too. thing. I can tell them, make it two inches longer, make it one inch short, make it no collar mm. on there, make it like this. They put the whole fabric together for me. That's so they sweet. say, and they send me the whole video process, uh, when they cutting the like when I got the uh black and the red and the blue uh stack pants made, they was the fabric all together. They sent me the video cutting it in the shapes and yeah. all. so I'm just moving along, just starting to go from there and like just, would you ever get like a I don't know, like would you ever go over there and get like a uh you already know where I'm going? Like a like, like a manufacturer, manufacturer, you know what I'm saying? Something uh, over there in China or uh I, I, the, like the a manufacturer where, like, I got you know what I'm saying? The manufacturer I got, they in like Pakistan, a couple of them in Pakistan, and they be doing a I just missed the show too. I just missed it. It was in Vegas. It's called Magic or Project. It's mm. a big it's a real big convention in Vegas that they do for clothing and a lot of the uh overseas vendors, China, Pakistan, Indonesia. They they all be over there in the convention center and they just set up their stuff basically to like the, it's like the Alibaba app having the Alibaba app in, in person. In person. Yeah, it's like so you go and talk to them. They got their different fabrics and different things that they offer, and you go meet them and you build a relationship from there and get they um like contact your WhatsApp or whatever you know however you contact them. And <laughs> yeah. The uh, payment information is different apps like uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remitly. Remitly. That's what we pay our employees with. Right. Transfer yeah, wise. Yeah, different stuff yeah. and. Tell you we got employees started. out in the Philippines. That's what we pay yeah, them with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, and I'm learning different stuff like that too, or how to get the like third party people to uh, what's that? The Fiverr app or get yeah. Fiverr, Upwork, uh, VA, do different stuff for me and you uh, get them to run all that, bro. Shit, bro. run your really? social media for you and do everything like that. So yeah, I, I, I just like I ain't gonna lie, I, I get excited when I learn stuff like that. Yeah. Like, damn, I can do that. Like damn, I ain't yeah. even know that. Yeah, yeah, like our VAs and all that, all the yeah, clips you'll be sure. seeing. That's her. Yeah. Real, real quick, real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you, how did you transfer like yo, how did you go from like full time hooper mm -hmm. to like to this? Like to and like cause you good at this. A lot of people try different things. How you go from you was damn good at hooping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, how you <laughs> right go on. from doing something where like a lot of people be like, nah, I gotta be somewhere in the athletic field. Like I gotta right. do that. How you go and then doing this that you, like you good at this? I just saw you answer two calls, and I'm like, oh, this he right, good. right. <laughs> yeah, nah, man. I think for me, man, um, you know, when I first, when I first, uh, how do I say this without getting too emotional right. about the shit? <laughs> nah, basically okay. Like when it didn't when work I, out, when for I didn't, you. when I didn't first go to the NBA, like maybe when I was working out in Boston, or I was in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. 
and I was seeing niggas get workouts with teams and all that stuff, and I was like, damn, like, I was just cooking this nigga in training. Like, yeah. how the fuck is he getting a <laughs> a workout with the Celtics and, or, you know what I'm saying, whatever. So I ended up working out for his shit. I think it was Detroit and Boston. Mm-hmm. But it was like, it was one of the workouts where it was just like, you can work out, but we ain't really fucking paying attention. Yeah, they just. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it was one of them, like, almost like they just gave it to me just because, like, my, my, my agent wanted me there, like, type shit. So, um, I knew I wasn't probably going to play in the NBA. Yeah. So, I was like, fucking, I'm going to go overseas because this D-League check, check is weak. So, I went overseas, got overseas. Um, but I was in a hard, like, area where I was, like, damn near, like, I was like, I'm going to go hard as fuck overseas. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, fuck it. So I was over there. In the middle of that time, my pops gets locked up again yeah. for the second time. So he goes back. And uh, honestly, here in the city, it was just like a lot of chatter and shit. So I was like, fuck that. Like my mom and them back there, my brothers and shit. Plus, I just had a son while I was out there. Yeah. Like I had to fly back, see my son. They cut me when I flew back. Like it was some fried shit. Yeah. They, and then they owed me like 30 bands, never paid me. You know what I'm saying? So I was like in a bad, bad spot, bro. And I was like, man, fuck this basketball shit. Like, yeah. like uh, I felt bad about not making it to the league. Like, I feel like my family really was like That's looking was at me to make, to make the league, like yeah. for real. And I just kind of felt like I failed them. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the whole family. I still got kind of wearing a little bit of that today. You know what I'm saying? Like, for as sure. far as like, I got to do something. Yeah. Like, I got to. No, so I what you mean. when I started working a job, I went out there. I, st- I started fucking around too, like fucking with, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yeah. We and shit like <laughs> that. Plays. I, was, I was in Cali. I mean, Making yeah. plays. Yeah. So, sure. yeah to, <laughs> got plays, but not. Nah, but then I was like, <laughs> I got some shit fucked up with that. Like, and I'm like, if I continue to do this shit and shit be taking losses like that and shit like that, like, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to end up killing somebody. Like, I'm just thinking about that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, laying it out. And I'm like, this shit ain't weighing yeah, out. Yeah. So, bro, honestly, I just was like, what do I like? And when I was overseas hooping, I would watch uh, Jay Morrison. Um, I would watch some of his stuff. And I saw Jeezy on World Star at the time. Jeezy had fucking, uh, like, funded one of his uh classes or something like that like his 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 education program for like a million bucks or or a hundred thousand or something like that yeah i was like damn that's what's up so i ended up getting on the phone with jay morris and shit but i was watching all his videos and shit and i was like damn that's dope we i ain't never getting this program none of that but then it kind of sparked my interest though so i started really studying that shit i'm like you can do what with these properties but then when i got back home took an l in real estate went back out there i was like and i went back to cali and then i was like Nigga, with twenty four hundred dollars, I'm like, man, I'm working a job. I'm down there feeling lame, like not for working a job, but like I was like, man, I just like I'm, lo- I'm looking at the people yeah. that's forty, you want and I'm yourself. like, yeah, if I'm forty, you know what I'm saying, and no yeah. disrespect to them, but like if I'm forty, that that's just not me right there at forty. Yeah. Like I, I'm better than that. Yeah. Like I just know I am, so I just started doing this shit while I was working. So I started just. Really, bro, same thing you said, YouTube, university, Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying, shit like that. But I was like the same. At one point, once I started, I was like, I could feel myself getting obsessed with it. Like, I was like, shit, I'm up at yeah. one in the morning on YouTube fucking- Go to the next one. Write notes. The next one, yeah. Write notes, you know what I'm saying? My wife, dad was like, bro, you, he, I remember when you was fucking doing it. I was like, he going to be successful. Like, yeah. whatever he's trying to do. But I was like, I'm a, it, it was, when the, to answer your question, it was one time, and I can't remember where it was. Um, but I was talking to my wife and I was like, um, I felt like she, because I was stopping playing basketball, she was like, well, what you going to do? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. not even in a mean way, but, but no, that, seriously, it woke me do? up. Yeah. Like, I was like, shit, well, I know, I don't know, but all of the effort and shit that I put into basketball, the hard work, all of the, you know, my time, all of that shit, I'm going to put it into whatever that is I'm going to do. Yeah. And it ended up being real estate, bro. Yeah. And like. Shit, I started learning that shit, like, and I'm still a student today. Like, for sure, for like sure. the shit that I be posting when I'm on the phone and stuff like that, I be watching other dudes that's yeah. like them that our same age or younger than us. So if they cold with that yeah. shit, I, I want to watch game. it, and yeah. I'm going to grab a little bit from here. I'm going to grab a little bit from here, from there. Mm-hmm. Uh, shit, I might grab some shit off of Harvey Specter on Suits. I'm just saying, like, I be grabbing shit and then using it, though. And that's that's basically what, yeah. you know what I'm saying, what I did in basketball. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Watching people taking something from this person's yeah. game, taking something from this. So I, I, I really think basketball, sports in general, and business is very synonymous, bro. Yeah. Like, you, can, it's so many similarities. So for me, it was that time that I made up my mind that 
what, however hard I went in basketball and how I got to the top of basketball. Just transferred that. that, that I'm going to try to get yeah. to the top of whatever the yeah. fuck I'm going to do over yeah. here. And I, yeah. I asked that because I kind of see that. And that's basically kind of like what my brand about. Just kind of like like you said, you would be for years you known for basketball. Somebody said, what you going to do? But exactly. Now that you transfer that same skill. Like, I'm a winner. You know, yeah. but rather I'm in the NBA. Absolutely. Whether I still got to win. I'm still going to be T. You know what I'm saying? So, Swear same God. thing with me. Like, I still got to be somebody. You know what Hell I mean? Whether yeah, I work yeah. out like this, work out like I still got to be somebody. And yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, that drive keep me going. And just, yeah. You, know, it, you got that battery, bro. Ain't nothing that, ain't nothing, ain't nothing that nobody can do with you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Just finding a vehicle that's going to really get you there. But, you know, at the end of the day, it ain't no doubt in your mind that you're going to get somehow. Exactly. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I, we had that conversation, you too. You know what I mean? That was another thing that to add on to that was, like, when I, when, like, I'm like, shit, whatever the fuck I do, I, I, everything that I start, I damn near think I'm going to go to the top of. Yeah, for sure. If I start playing fucking pickleball tomorrow, I'm like, I'm about to become the coders, motherfucker. Pick, I'm, I'm coding it all, y'all. Yeah. Already whatever from the I jump. Do, yeah. Like, I'm like... I'm trying to it's and it's and it's and it's healthy competitiveness yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? It's not no hating shit. It's like like even with the clothes shit, if I start yeah. getting into the clothes game, I'm like go hard. I gotta like get at just, least to where he at. It. You said how we gonna go hard in e- thirty days. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But if I was, I'm like, okay, where was you at in a year? Yeah. Okay, bet. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, that's my right, right. I need to be right here in yeah, six months. If I ain't there up. by six months, then shit, I'm I'm a behind where he was at. Yeah. You know what or, I'm saying? Or it let you know. He might have been there in a year and let you know. Well, he had this, that, and the earth. Exactly. If I'm halfway there in a year, I'm halfway there. You know Thank so. you, bro. You can you can just measure yeah. up and then measure up. But a lot of people That's get good, to me- it is, but a lot of people get to measuring up on some hating shit. Yeah, like, like nah, man, that shit way. really trash, bro. Yeah. That guy play shit, that shit weak, man. That shit ain't yeah. better than my why you you ain't gotta hate on it, bro. Collaboration. A lot of times when motherfuckers do be hating, most times, not every single scenario, but a lot of scenarios is like your shit really trash though. His shit really is better than yours. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, for sure. That's exactly. it's really better than yours. That's exactly. why you hating on it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? You really wish you had the motion like you and got. When I see somebody yeah. when, it, when it's hard, instead of hating, I'd be like, that shit hard. And I'd be like, if I want that, instead of hating, I'm like, how can I get mine like that? Right. And like, I don't, that's my whole thing. It's like it's possible for everybody. Like that's I, I'm giving the game up. That's what I like to do. I get a game. I up. really, my whole thing I is the really game. feel like niggas be out there like, like, like. Like if I saw my dog, like even you, if you pulled up today in a Rolls Royce, the first word is probably be out of my mouth. Damn, I got I got to get me one of them motherfuckers. Yeah, like that motherfucker cold. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It be hurting people' feelings though. Right. Like they, they really feel getting it. hurt. Say, like why would what? You, why would you do that? Yeah, they why saying would you, why, why would you? Are you, you do trying that? to come on here and they get yeah. stun on me like that? Like yeah, bro, like so. But how and they look know. at it like, damn, he he doing it like that now. But you know what that is. <laughs> you feel like you can't get there. Yeah, exactly. Because the nigga that feel like they can get there, they get inspired from. They like, damn, that motherfucker. Man, let me see that. Man. Or they at, or they straight up ask you like, hey, where you get yours at? Oh my life. Oh yeah, like, like you know what I'm saying. I don't think about it. I ain't ready yet, but yeah, shit, yeah. let me uh, you know, cause let me sit in that motherfucker, smell right. that bitch. Shit, <laughs> stars harder than a motherfucker in here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know nigga, what I'm think saying. he can get it, man. He gonna be inspired like, by it. And just just so I can know, and for the people like. How is it like working like with a being able he to interviewing us? Hey, no, I like no, no, this because that's, the, that's, that's, that's <laughs> how I'm gonna like, like, get my game. Like <laughs> when, you, when you got a partner, and it's like mm, for example, like I'll let him. For example, this. young black man, they gonna be like, I'm not fucking with that nigga if he doing man what I yeah. gotta do that. Like they gonna see you doing it, and be like, oh fuck that nigga, I gotta. So how is it like working with somebody and being like actually having a successful business partner yeah. that's a young black man? You don't see. Damn. People doing that all that's the time, and you like yeah. they look just like you. They because it's and I don't know. It just goes to show that the young people, you and your homie can do the same thing if y'all get together. So Absolutely. how is that? Damn, that's I'll a, let that's you go a phenomenal. That. Hey, bro, you might need to do the podcast shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming for the podcast. On everything. Bro. Straight up, uh, bro. I think it's it's like um, it's it happened so organic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of like. Steph and Clay, you know, we got work to do. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of like Steph and Clay. They, be, they didn't make it. It just happened that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. just formulated that way. And then they just became the Splash Brothers, and they just yeah. ran through the whole league. You know what I mean? And it was like, wait, how did this happen again? Like, did, yeah. did nobody get traded or nothing? This right. Way? And like, right. It just happened so organically, bro. Like, I wasn't um, looking for a partner. He wasn't either. We both kind of just got out of – uh, dynamic of partnerships, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. To some degree. So I'm like, bro, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I see how they don't work, you know what I'm saying? With yeah. somebody maybe not being on the same page as you mm-hmm. or just whatever. Y'all got two different visions, two different mindsets, whatever. And um, you know what I'm saying? When me and T linked, it was just like real similar. Like 
we didn't know each other, but grew up around a lot of the same people yeah. from the same area. Uh, I, I had, you know what I'm saying, and my roots run, can I say deep, T? Can I say my roots Your run roots deep? roots run deep, that's cool. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, yo. I know, he might say pause, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, I got to ask permission now and shit. But nah, my roots run deep with the hooping shit because my older brother did it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I wanted to do it so bad, shit. Just did. We actually should play on that, T. What? The fact that how far you went hooping and I went to do that, but it was completely opposite for me. <laughs> like, we should play. Like, people know that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But like, we yeah. should put that out there more. But anyway, yeah. Uh, it was, I still understood the game, even though I wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? I understood it though, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. around, I'm, ra- I'm around my brother, I'm around EJ, I'm around Rob, I'm around, you know what I'm saying? All of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Off the strength of him and still some of my other homies that, that I'm super tight with. Like, mm-hmm. we hooping, we working, we, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the same yeah, everything, yeah, you feel yeah. me? A lot of them. Now, if you really, really hooping, then obviously you're going to know more, but you know what I'm saying? It was just, we connected on that. Um, and then, I don't know, bro. The biggest part of it was like, you know, part of this was God, bro. It yeah, wasn't me. Sure. It yeah, wasn't yeah, me yeah. trying to force it. I don't think it was T either. It was like. I think. I think a hundred percent, bro. I think our personalities too, like we mature enough to be able to not, cause I got some family, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna call them out. Like I got some family cousins, you know what I'm saying? That really be like that, you know what I'm saying? Really be on some hating shit or really be just offended super easily, bro. Like me and and him can go back and forth about some shit. It might be light, it might be deep, but nigga here in 10, 15, 20 minutes, we're going to be cool. Day. And if a nigga need a day or two, then I know that's what it is. That's not right. my brother, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, not I, everybody look at it like that. Though. I like that. I, I, I like how you just said that, where you said well, it could be lighter, it could be deep. But, like, you know, wherever it go, a nigga might even – you can. we could talk later, but I might even give you a day or two. Right. Sometime that day or two, that lead to some – you not talking to your best friend or potential business right. partner for three, four years cause just because, man, he was Fuck on some bullshit that you know day. I mean? But I think that's what it is, bro, is, like, our, our – so – we kind of it's kind of like a battery where where you know where my positives are his negatives are where his yeah. positives are my negatives are on certain stuff but we 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 alike but we not alike yeah you know what i'm saying we like a lot of the same stuff but we two different people right yeah so like i think when we first started we alike enough yeah like. exactly <laughs> right there and, and the thing is like our like like um like for instance like i think when we this this is one thing that I think every every per, person should do. I mean, if you can do it, if it permits it, right? It's like we started doing business before we became part we became partners. So I was able to see how he would react dealing with forty thousand yeah. dollars, thirty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? He's going picking up the checks and shit. I was living in Cali. Yeah. So if he gonna fuck me over for three, he gonna fuck me over for three thirty, yeah, three hundred. Sure. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So like it was a lot of. Uh, integrity and trust early yeah. on before right. we even really really knew each other yeah that we had to go through you know what i'm saying so like we did what a good shit we did a good 10 12 deals together before we was like probably damn it yeah ran through that. shit 80 100 <laughs> yeah before before we, we really so i was able to see that i'm like oh dude move he moved right yeah you know what right. i'm saying that's like right. for one so that's my biggest thing you gotta move right period vibes don't check i'm straight <laughs> yeah. like i'm just cool straight period like you, know, goofy yeah, shit. Like you know what i mean but, straight up you know like he said a uh, part of it was god because you know he was here you know what i'm saying i was there so i was able to do certain things that when him on the ground he couldn't i mean he could do but like he his his time was better spent doing the shit that we could do on ground my time was yeah. better spent doing the shit that i could do over the phones and yeah on the computers and on the weekends and shit like that so and it happened to just work so well um with what we was doing bro and then after that we we came together and said write down your goals you right now uh yours Bro, we brought our goals back to the table and motherfuckers was damn near same exact thing. same thing. Yeah. So it that's was tight. like that's tight. Damn. And well, like you said, <laughs> it was on after that. Like on. you said, yeah. y'all y'all the same, but y'all two different people. And like you said, you apply the sports to it. It's like, I know what I'm good at. I know when I'm tired and I gotta pass the ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. Like I know what he good at when he's yeah. in that corner. I'm gonna give it to him. Hey, I'm a, like, it's easy. And I play with my brother like my whole life. Yeah. So like I was missing that in business. Them boys was cold too, state champions. <laughs> hey, state champions 2010. And we and you graduated in 2010, 2010. too. Yeah, was I was doing the uh the radio TV for Yeah, you game. was. I seen every yeah. game. I seen every game y'all played my junior and senior year. That's what's up, bro. I yeah, I remember shit. I remember junior. we used to come over and get high. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you lived in them I'm apartments over there? Out. Yeah, right. Uh, hey, school. man, I ain't leaving shit out. Hey, you know, <laughs> we won you know, state you know, on the cush. You know, but, like, <laughs> but I remember coming over your crib, bro. Yeah. We used to be over there roasting this shit yeah. at the apartment and shit like that, man. That's hilarious, man. You and your sister used to let us in. All right, that was hilarious, man. I forgot about that. Like, until you just said that, bro, I remember, bro. Y'all used to show us love, bro. Let everybody come over and get get split. That's what's up. Um, but nah, um, yeah, yeah, bro. I think I think a lot of that just came from that, man. And uh, if you the young dudes, all I'll say is, uh, it's not easy having a partner. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like he said, it's gonna be ups and downs. They make it easier on you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying for certain stuff. But like, I mean, one of our employees them there walked out of the room like a couple weeks ago because me and him we had each other next. Like, not even like. Y'all just going back and forth. Not, not yeah, no yeah, bitch yeah, ass yeah, nigga this, yeah. bitch ass, but right, we, we talking like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? Like, yeah. if it's this, we hollering, like, yeah. we loud. Yeah. And we all, after and shit, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? But like, after, like you said, 10 or 15 minutes go by, I'm like, shit, so yeah. uh, trying to get something to eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, I had that with my brother throughout my whole life with yeah. sports and shit, and now I feel like I got that in business with bro. Yeah. So yeah. It's, been, it's been good with that, man. Yeah, it's my sure. brother, dog, for yeah. sure, man. So right. we, that that's already there, and we just know that that's that. That's the foundation, you know what I'm saying? And then everything, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to get through whatever, because, you know what I'm saying? If I, I'm sure I know a shit that I do. He'd be like... <laughs> this yeah. nigga here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Likewise, feel me? likewise. You know what I'm saying? But that's just our personalities and just us. You feel me? Anybody gonna be like that? You move in with your lady, your shorty. She yeah. had oh, a toilet man. paper you like this or man. like that, Tell me or whatever. It. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's 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 Boy. just because they not you. You know what yeah. I mean? You wouldn't do it like that or say it like that or whatever. So you know what I'm saying? It's just adopting and learning that and learning each other over time too. Is saying okay, like, uh, which we probably should do more of this too, though, like whenever is have those little check-ins i feel like we ain't did it in a yeah. little we good we good like yeah. we good but it's also good to you know what i'm saying set aside some time and be like bro like what the fuck do i be doing that you probably just be like man i ain't even gonna say yeah. shit because that's just how bro be you know yeah. what i mean yeah, I check think, in I, to, I think to in get business, better and shit uh, you know what i'm saying people don't do that enough like even if to to go back to the clothing brand space like Sometimes I do got to ask my graphic designer, like, you good? Like, you know, you been, you been fucking with them designs I sent you? You need to, should I do them like this? Or should right. I, like, right. Like Give the manufacturer sometimes. Yeah. I, be, I like being a bug sometimes when I go to the uh, to the warehouse and just yeah. check it out. I'm going to ask the same question I ask, like, what's that? Right. What's that? What's, just to see, you know, to make sure, like, hey, I'm still, we got a good relationship. I'm Absolutely. still show you this. We still working. We still going. Hell a lot yeah. of people don't do that all the time. They just, oh, once we good. We could just text and send the money through, whatever. I don't know what you've been going through. You could have had a hard week to where exactly. I got to work harder this week because you exactly. got to Exactly. You get what I'm saying? People don't and, understand and, that. And, that's the that, real shit of it, though. And that's where, it, I mean, and, and this is one big thing that I, I definitely want to put out there to everybody. So hear me clearly when I say this is your partner is not always your brother. Yeah. It's not always your cousin. It's not always your best friend. It's not always the the, the person that, you, that, that you've been with from the bottom, yeah. as y'all put it. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the jump and all that shit. That's not always the person to partner with, bro. Like, that's when those things get overlooked. And so now you didn't you didn't been now your now business and turn you and your brother into fucking enemies. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's easy not to say that shit to family. Like, ah, oh, I ain't gonna do that because then it's, that's family. Yeah. And that's my cousin, or you know, that's what it is. No, bro. Like, if you do go into business with your family, it gotta still be on a business type of relationship when y'all doing business. Like, mm-hmm. bro, no, you fucking up, bro. Like, yeah, this is what business, it is. Right. You clowning out, bro. You we didn't we okay? We made a million, nigga. You didn't been in Vegas for six months. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, come I on, mean, what we doing? Do like, yeah. so like, cause just because I'm family, you would do it to me. But if this was fucking, you know what I'm saying, Mark Zuckerberg, whatever the fuck his name is, yeah. if it was him, you wouldn't be doing, you wouldn't go to Vegas for six months. Mm-hmm. You exactly. get what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, like, they got to, they got to keep it real, and you got to, you got to, if if you choose family and friends, understand that y'all got to keep the business relationship separate from y'all friendship, which is very hard to do. Yeah. Because me, me and him is homies, too. Yeah, like, exactly. we kick it. He come out to my crib. I come to his crib. I know his mommy. know my mama. My buddies is his buddies now. Yeah. Uh, he trying to steal my friends, though. But anyways. Yeah. Man, chill out, dog. <laughs> I, 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 hey, everybody <laughs> fuck with O, man. Hey, fuck don't with call o. my nigga yeah. out on the boat. And don't, nah, that, fuck nah, that's o. some pause shit. I was going to say, call my nigga out on the boat and don't call me out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> right beside my crib. He got me fucked up. up. <laughs> nah, nah, for real though. But man, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we we, we gonna jump into one one uh, yeah. section of the podcast that we call overtime. 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 But nah. Uh, so in this session, we just go over some crazy topics, bro. Yeah, the shit that's going sure. on and shit like that. Current stuff, yeah. current events, sure. just stuff that you, you didn't seen that you know what I mean. It's just you know what I mean. We want to talk. We had we had one. I had it. Oh, was we talked about earlier this week? We like we talking about this on the podcast. <laughs> What was it? I don't know I if know. it was that. I'm, I got two. One is the Montgomery shit. Oh, maybe it was <laughs> that. Crazy. Maybe it was that. And one was the Dwight Howard shit. It was the Dwight <laughs> Howard. Oh, I seen that. I seen it that. It was Dwight. <laughs> I don't, that was crazy. I'm like, what? Dwight hey, around man. your lip. It was Dwight, boy. Hey, Dwight Howard, bro. Hey, man. Well, this is the thing. This is the thing about the Dwight Howard situation. Hey man, so, I might set this one out, dog, because my I mouth wanna, a little bit too fried, bro. <laughs> I don't even want to go too far into it, but, like, I think it was Joe Budden, man. He said that shit, man. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I thought I knew what the meaning of gay was, too. Yeah. Right? So what's your definition of gay? Or what's man, search your you, phone and see you, the Webster's definition you, if, of gay. If you... No, no, no! Don't even sex. say yours. I'm saying okay. same sex, okay. like okay. same sex, like that's you know, what the definition same, is. In you know, same sex, same sex, same sex like, or happy is yeah, what they call it. But like nowadays, with the you know, you can't you can't offend people. So somebody will do something that's gay and they don't want to be offended. So they like, I'm not gay. You can't call me gay. I'm right. Not gay. You can't say that about me. Like they think it's a derogatory term yeah. versus I'm just saying right. you like that. I'm exactly. not calling you out on that. So I think that's where that come from. They don't want to be labeled as gay like yeah. you know but what nigga saying? you but gay they, though but they want to do like, my definition is bro yeah same sex and you doing well it's it's you fucking and you liking the same sex yeah that's gay bro like and then you can have mannerisms that's gay and do you not be gay and shit like that but right. still to me in my eyes maybe just judging i don't know but to me i'm like you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna ask you though like bro is you gay you know what I'm right, saying? Right, it's or, not bro, that like, deep, yeah. Yeah, just if let me are, know. you are, you are. That's I'm kind of confused if you is, if you ain't. If you, you feel me? I ain't got no problem with gay people. Right, if you me is. Either. I ain't got no you problem. Yeah, me know either. But, but I'm at the same like time, you Don't confuse the nigga. Don't, you can't don't do get, that. I'm not gay. Right. I don't got no problem with gay people, so you can't come around me as a gay person and try to make me gay or do yeah. what y'all do or try to try to you know what i mean oh, well you, well you don't you 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 know what i'm saying just this right. whole bro yeah. look the same thing that they doing with the kids is just trying to force it on you yeah. to say like i'm cool like it's okay like you cool you cool i don't have a problem with you right but you don't have to try to put it on me yeah. nigga i'm not i don't feel or that. Or, yeah, or whatever like, I, I feel you you gay that's fine i, I don't have nothing no judgment against you um, nothing like that, but like if exactly. I'm not gay, I'm just not gay. That's yeah. just what it is. But that's not even the, that's that's not even why I asked you that. The reason why I asked you that is because his situation was he called a man. I mean, he hit a man up in the DMs. Yeah, with the crazy. demon emoji. Dang. We all know what the demon emoji mean in the DMs. He crazy. Dude is up coming back. He, he said, "Hey man, don't cut this part either." <laughs> <laughs> Cause he said, "No, nah, I ain't even gonna say that. It was so, it was so good." I, 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 I heard what it. he said. He I mean, said, "I, I want to see that." You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. Whatever. So, dude, like, shit. All right, he said, right, he, said them, he said he want to see that car. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Gotcha. I swear to, I swear to yeah, God, that's yeah, like because if you gotten. say it in the DM, that's how you saying it too. So look, so then, so then, okay, dude is about to come over. His son is at the crib, and they about to have a whole orgy yeah. to do with two the, dudes. The white, the white Howard son, by the way, is what we the say. white Howard son is at the crib, all that, and he like, you know, we gotta leave. Y'all gotta leave before you wake up, etc. And so he like, do you want the other? I, I can, I can have another guy come too. Another person, a threesome or whatever, and he's like, "With well, who?" or whatever, and he was like, "A dude." And then he was like, "Okay." He got he get out the club and blah blah blah. blah. He's like, "I'm down for that." So then, right after he say he on his way, he's like, "Cool," but hey, I just want to let you know, I'm not gay. I just like to do freaky shit. Yeah, that's he don't want to be like like you know on the record like I ain't, you know I don't want to be on no don't label me weird but bitch that's the definition of gay or like or the power you're about of, to have or, sex or with or two men or the power of money he that's might feel gay. like he might feel like man for dwight howard i'll do it for some money 
No, that's, he, what, that's how he no, feels. No, he, he wasn't feel. saying that. No, I'm saying Dwight what? Howard was saying, I'm not gay. I just want to let you know, I'm that's not crazy. gay. And he's the one that's setting it up to have an orgy with two men. He might got and something going on in his mental. He's freaky for real. He said, I'm like, what? I don't care what you say, bro. Even if that was just your freaky, like whatever it is, like your your fetish or whatever it is, that's, that's a gay fetish. That's you're gay. That's <laughs> you're gay. gay. Just call it what it is. Just call it what it I is. Ain't saying that you can. Ain't and nothing you wrong with that, bro. Just don't try to be like, hey, look, 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 look. Was he ever married? But it ain't that. Was he ever married? I don't was know Dwight Howard. No, nah, you got a story. No, nah, I ain't telling that story, but. Did he ever I know? Whoa! I ain't telling that. Hey, you can lead it. You can lead it. Hey. Uh, hey. No, I'm good. Hey, T. Hey, T. Hey, hey, no way. No, 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 no gay story. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get it twisted. But we used to talk to the same. We used to talk to the same chick. Put it like that. We used to talk to the same chick. Oh, man. Um, when I first got out of high school and shit, we used to talk oh, to the yeah. same chick. I used to talk to her in high school, but then he used to talk to her when uh after that yeah after that yeah um but when i saw her and shit like my freshman year of college we started talking back a little bit but she was just like she was talking to him at the time and she he was asking her to do some weird shit yeah, feel freaky, me and she's like freaky man so when it came out you was kind of like man hey, I, I had I already, already knew figured, this i had already figured game back 10, then 15 years and then he had said he was like a and and you know you do got good people in the nba and all that shit but like when he first came into the NBA, it was something out there about like how he was like he was uh like he was saving his virginity for marriage. Mm. You get what I'm saying? In the league, seven foot, one number one draft yeah, pick. He like finna, I'm like shit. He get on something, bro. I don't know what you own, but yeah. you are gonna be getting on something. And then so when that shit came, I'm like, bro, he just kind of seemed like everything just keep on. When getting that nigga made Kobe up. looked at this nigga like this, <laughs> Kobe knew. R.P. Kobe, I think, man. I think that's the bad part. When yeah. You, when you number one draft pick and you doing your thing like that, when you do something crazy, some people might not tell you. Yeah. Somebody probably told him, oh, no, you're not gay for that. They catch him doing something. Right. Oh, no, you're not. Because, you know, yeah. you know, if he paying your bills and all, they probably like, or not even that. It's just a, a big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. They might be scared to yeah. so call him out. Bro. They, don't, they be scared to call him out. But I'm saying this is, if, if, if you're not okay with coming out of the closet in this era, in this era right now, yeah, he crazy. Everything is gay. I'm just saying, yeah, if you're crazy. if you're not willing to come so out in this TV era, show, every, that's kind of damn near disrespectful. That was, the, he to, was to, that was the that was the trick bag for real. That was the oh, I forgot I'm DMing you and you yeah. might get this out. So let me <laughs> let me go on and say let, let me just clear the air. It's like I was just I'm playing. not gay. I was just playing. Somebody hacked me. So when it right. came out, I didn't write that. I wrote that. I wrote the part that said I'm not gay because blah, you know. And then you know they can they they got big money. I'm gonna sue you and exactly. defamation of character. And, you know, delete yeah. that. Delete but all you, that. But you know it's so crazy, man. He still he still gay. Got him. He still, he got, still him. got him. He still got him. He still got him. It is what it is. Dwight, man, just come out, man. Just just let let everybody know what you're doing, man. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with that. Would that ruin his basketball career? Like, nah, well, he only he overseas. He, he overseas. He already out the league. Is it any? That's why I'm saying. There's no people? reason why. Yeah, I mean, that not that's that's actually playing right now. Only gay in the league. Not that's playing, but there's people that in have the NFL, come out. In the NFL, it is. Yeah. Not in the NBA though, huh? Not in the NBA. They ain't came out. At least I know it's somebody. I know it's probably something in there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there there's one. Yeah, but you gotta think they playing yeah. manly sports, so like, right. yeah, that because they gotta be in the locker room with other dudes. So I can kind of see people like, I, I guess not, but to get in some, bro, it's twenty twenty three, bro. You know, if you get in somebody's DMs, that it can be seen, bro. Period. Exactly. What What are you doing? As the White House, if you don't want nobody to really know, why are you in? Why are you why in are the you DM? Do come tripping, to your bro. crib with your son. And the People be like, man, people be having crazy, <clears throat> like the thrill. Like, I, man, I was yeah. talking to somebody else man, about that. Man, I'm done, bro. People the really like Harvey the thrill. Harvey watching too much goddamn yeah. porn, bro. Yeah. Nah, the thrill is real. The we, thrill is real. People we, like the thrill. <laughs> Sometimes it, don't, it ain't even what you're doing. They just like the thrill. Yeah. We used to talk about that in college a lot, like the little chicks and shit. Like sometimes they used to like the, the – the, they just want to go fuck the basketball player just for the thrill. Like I just fucked the basketball You know what I'm saying? Like, like just the thrill of it. Like they used to actually say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, wow, bro. Like, just for the thrill of it that I just, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. <clears throat> so. If your girl's at the front row seats. Uh, <laughs> she's fucking somebody on the basketball team if she's at the game. <laughs> I'm going in for the kill. I should have been a basketball I'm player. I'm doing it for a thrill. <laughs> but nah, man. Nah, for real, man. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, bro. Nah, God play. How can they find you, bro? <laughs> Uh, you can find me on Instagram underscore God Plays. Uh, go to my personal page. Tones got it. Uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. 
Uh, go to my website, www.got-plays.com. Uh, stay tapped in with me. I got a lot of fire events coming, a lot of different drops coming this fall and winter. Uh, yeah. I'm going to keep dropping some more game on my Instagram, my TikTok, and all that. I might, y'all might catch me in the podcast space dropping some game for hey, y'all. Hey, Episode hey. one probably. Man, show us some, some of your gear, though, before you oh, leave, though, real quick. What you got with you? Yeah, you yeah. some socks right here? We got these socks right here. We got their own, uh, the package and the sock package with them. Hey, man, I need some socks or a hoodie uh, or a jacket. This, or this, this I, whole, I bought this whole setup for y'all. Ah, that's a hundred. That's a hundred. I'll split this whole Okay. Hey. Hey, man, yeah, let me choose my shit so. first. You know, T. Hell no, nah, bro. This nigga you know, be. Hey. I know y'all go back. We different sizes. I got it first. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. Hey, that's what's happening. Oh, these joints hard right here. Them motherfuckers is stupid. Static shock. Yeah, we got the female stuff. Stuff, the male stuff, we got that's kids stuff happening. coming. That's a hard. stuff for everybody. Man, that's we hard. appreciate you, Appreciate man. you, big uh, man, dog. I, I definitely up. appreciate y'all having me, man. Definitely for is sure. an honor to sit down with y'all, man. I like what y'all doing, man. Y'all keep putting on. and Now, I just like it look possible, you know what I mean? Man, Usually you look on there and you see the, no offense, but you know, you see the older <clears throat> white men and they be the ones that's, yeah, so you yeah. be like, yeah, right, real estate, whatever. Right, you know what I mean? right, you right. See, right, you yep. see two, two of them that look just like me, same age or whatever, you be like, hold on. There's right. some hope Wait out there. Inside. You got to do it like this, do it like that. Yep. That's so 100. Definitely it's an honor to sit with you, sit down with y'all, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. Keep giving the game out to the people. For, for sure. For have sure. you on, bro. Yeah, we appreciate sure. you, man. Well, without further ado, man, we appreciate y'all for coming out. Episode 32. Man, if y'all interested in doing anything with the sponsorships, um, getting in our program, whatever, man, reach out to us on Instagram. Um, you already heard what he said. His name is Catch a Bag O now. Catch a Bag O. On Instagram and I'm Legacy underscore T, man. Get at us. And uh, just like that, we out. Playmakers in the building. Let's get it. Mm-hmm.